So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hack your SNES Classic Edition to add additional games from ROMs you ripped from your original cartridges. So here's an example of NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Obviously, you can rip this from your original cartridge into a ROM and then load that ROM directly onto your SNES Classic. In this example, I'm going to show you Kirby's Avalanche, um, which is one of my favorite SNES games of all time. So. The first thing you need to do is head over to GitHub. You'll find the link in the description. There you can download the HackCheat 2 app for Windows. Now, if you're running a Mac, you can obviously use Parallels or VMware Fusion. Um, in this example, I'm using VMware Fusion, and I just download the zip file. I'll save target to my desktop here on Windows, and save like that. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is simply to unzip the HackCheat folder which we saved to our desktop. So we'll do that right now. Just right click, extract all, extract. Okay, so once that's extracted, just open it up and you'll see the HackChi app. Just double click on that, select run, and then select obviously SNES Classic Mini, then click okay. Okay, so here's the most important part. Go ahead and connect your SNES Classic Edition to your computer using the USB cable and keep the HDMI cable connected to your television. That's not a requirement, but it just helps to visualize how things are going. All right, so now we need to back up the original kernel. This is super important. So go up to kernel and select dump kernel. This is the original kernel that you're dumping. All right, so now on the SNES Classic Mini, you wanna follow these instructions. It's super easy. So again, make sure your SNES Classic Edition is connected to your computer and then follow these instructions. So all we need to do is hold up the reset button like this and then turn the power button on and count to three. So here we go, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, release, just like that. And your computer should detect your console and proceed with the kernel dump. So I'm gonna speed this portion of the video up a little bit. This takes a little while, so just be patient. I've sped this up so you're not waiting here watching for a long time. So we're almost done here. All right, so the kernel is saved in the HackG2 slash dump folder. So click OK. Let's just verify that here. So here's the HackG2 folder and you see a dump folder. There it is, kernel SNES. Now, what you wanna do is email that to yourself, save it to a cloud storage space. Don't lose that because that's how you're going to restore the console to defaults. So keep that, don't lose it. Email it to yourself as a backup if necessary. Okay, so now it's actually time to hack the SNES Classic Edition before we add more games. We're gonna go back up to kernel and then we're going to flash a custom kernel. So let's do that right now. Click kernel and select flash custom kernel, just like this. Yes, we wanna flash the custom kernel. And since we're already connected, it's just gonna go ahead and proceed with the flash. And again, I've sped this up a little bit so you're not waiting on the process to complete as you watch. All right, so it's done. Now we can upload games to the SNES Classic Edition now. So all you need to do is click add more games. You saw the Kirby's Avalanche ROM on the desktop. Again, there's hardware you can buy to rip your original SNES cartridges. So I've added that. Click Google, and that will search Google for an image for the box art that will be added to the interface. Just double click on the box art, and now click where it says synchronize selected games with SNES Mini. Basically, this is just going to go in here and synchronize everything and upload this essentially to your SNES Classic Edition. So you should see a screen that says Hackchi on your console, on the television that the console is connected to rather. And it'll stay on there for a second. All right, so here is the interface and now you're going to see this little folder here. If we go into that you're gonna see, there we are, Kirby's Avalanche. So you can actually launch that. Just press the A button. And there we go, folks. We are loaded with a custom game that wasn't on here to begin with. You could add them like that. So back over to our Windows box. Now we're gonna to go to Original Games. I'm gonna show you how you can basically go in and disable a game. Say you don't wanna play Final Fantasy III, you uncheck that, super easy. So any of the games you wouldn't play, then you can just uncheck them. It won't be taking up space on the interface. So once you have it unchecked, all you need to do is go back to synchronize, click that, and the changes will be synced 
with your console. Just let it load. All right, so back over to the SNES Classic Edition interface. Let's see what we see when it reboots. So you see the uh, folder there and you don't see any sign of Final Fantasy three. So that is gone. Super easy. So now let's head back over and let's show you one last thing. I really suggest doing this unless you just have a ton of games added to your SNES Classic Edition. Go up to settings, select pages slash folder structure and select disable page slash folders. Now let's think again. What this is going to do is it's basically going to put all of your custom games right in the main interface so you don't have to delve deep into that folder structure in order to view your custom games that you've added. So this makes it seem like all the custom games are just native games that were pre-installed to begin with, which is really awesome. So you can see Kirby's Avalanche right there on the main row and you can easily launch that and get to playing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you hack the SNES Classic Edition an awesome, awesome retro console that anyone who is an SNES enthusiast is absolutely going to love. Let me know what you think in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Toys.